Hey everyone, here's three ideas about week four. I want to say a couple words about um, the art activity this week, the art activities in general, and then something about what's going on with our Art Talk Artist of the Week. So um, as you know, our art activities, we have our three categories, um, messy hands, uh, life design, and the poorly named etc. category. So we've done one of each, and so now we're just gonna repeat that cycle again. So this week and week four, we're back to our second messy hands activity, which is graffiti writing. Next week will be our second life design activity, which will be, actually it's called life design. And then in another three weeks after that, we'll be around to finally making our website e-portfolios. Uh, but this week it's graffiti writing, and if you can, you can paint anywhere. Uh, if you're in the Southern California area, we have our second optional meetup this week at the Venice Beach Legal Art Walls, Saturday between 10 and 12. So I'd love to see you if you're around and have the time. But again, paint anywhere. A piece of cardboard in your backyard, an old piece of plywood out on the balcony, anything is fine, anywhere that's legal. Use at least two colors. Check out the website for the full details. Um, and have fun with that. Okay, uh, about Art Talk Artist of the Week. So you may have noticed, or it may have crossed your mind, but I should probably say specifically that we are looking at the Western canon. So what we're looking at is enormous, and we are getting a little tiny peek at it, but it is Western art history, Western culture. So it's, you know, huge as what we're looking at is, it's still not all of human history, human culture, human art. It's not all of global culture. It is Western. That's appropriate enough since we, you know, the United States is a country in the West, and even if we were in the East, you'd still be worth your while to think about Western art history. But we should probably just explicitly say that this isn't everything, this is the Western canon. So when we talked about cave art, we looked at Southern France, Northern Spain, but in fact, there are decorated caves all around the world. So Western perspective, and also, of course, all the artists are dead. Maybe at the very end, we'll talk about a couple living artists, but pretty much we're talking about artists who are dead. When we get to the artists of the week, um, you may have noticed, or I should say, that those two situations are now flipped. Um, it's not just Western, it's artists from around the globe, and they're all living. There, there's some really exciting artists who passed away recently who I'd love to make Artists of the Week, uh, but I decided not to do that. I really want these to be artists who are living with us, artists who are working under the same sun that you are, who are dreaming under the same moon that you are, who are sharing this 2018 moment with us, uh, all of the joys and challenges of, of life in our moment. So living artists, um, as you know, the first three were from, uh, where were they from? From Mexico, China, Vietnam, and actually this week, week four for graffiti, we're gonna look at Revoke, our first, but also our last American artist, and then for the rest of the summer, we'll be moving on to artists from other countries. Some of those artists may live or work or exhibit in the United States and other countries, uh, but at least it's, a, it's an international collection of where artists have been you know, coming from. So I hope that the, the Western canon in the art talks is balanced by the international perspective, the global perspective in the Artist of the Week. So, hope to see a few of you at Venice Beach on Saturday, and wherever you are, have fun with graffiti writing, and have a great week.